Watch the water with great care. Look how in each moment the river changes form. It provides no resistance, never with exception, preferring instead to lead a life shapeless and peaceful, of surety and timelessness. Put your feet in, as the rocks once did before they fell in love. In love with the passing water. Feel the wet on your skin as they refract beneath the surface, your cold and bare feet. The sensation, that constant pulsing at your ankles is the siren call of the water. What's magical about it? Why did your skin call to stay? Feel it now. Each second in the water is a different experience. Each moment a changing chord, a resonating note in a chamber of quiet. Each its own color and tone, different shades of texture and force. The river holds on to nothing. Each moment in the flow is pure and temporary. The exactness of its sensation will never be matched. That momentary force of sheer persuasion is the river. It's only a collection of rush and rumble at all times. Some vibrant and some low. Some tall and some only ripples in the breeze. The river is its persistence. Although different in each moment, wait for it to relent. In times of melt, rain, and plenty, it persists. In times of drought and absence, it persists, diminished, but determined. Observe the persistence and take note of its singular goal, to flow, and by law, in no other path until it meets another. Discipline is in the waves and stillness of the water. This is what your feet must communicate to you when in the water. They're screaming, muted in the cold, for you to live as water does. In each second, adaptive, free, boundless, an idol of eternity, but still here. To be present by choice, we should be as rivers are. To be in constant flux, yet disciplined outside of time. To be absolute, aggressive, and determined. To allow ourselves no distractions or freedoms outside of our singular vision. Watch how the river transmutes discipline and persistence into freedom and great power. <laughs>